Good morning. This is part of my holiday season. Started last week with Rosh Hashanah. It uh, culminates in prayer and reflection over the next 10 days when we fast for Yom Kippur, which begins Wednesday night into Thursday. As part of our reflection, we were thinking about our sheep and the shepherd and the shepherd's obligation to lead. In many of our religions, God loves the shepherd. The shepherd is the only one who's allowed to question God. And of course, the ultimate shepherd is God. So what do we think about the flock and the sheep? If they had their way, many of them would go in different directions and they'd scatter. But with a good shepherd leading, they can follow and be safe. Unfortunately, today, we don't have a lot of good shepherds. We don't have leaders in all of our states that care about their constituents and care about the health and well being of every one of you. And that's a crime. To me, that's a crime against humanity. Because what is more important than the health and well-being of everyone? Right? We're united. It says so. These are the United States of America. We all join hands together. The Statue of Liberty welcomes the people with open arms so that they may come unto their, her light and be protected. That's part of America. That's part of what we believe. So I can say to you that if you're going to believe in a leader, believe in somebody who has your best interests at heart. And like the shepherds, question what that leader says. Don't take it for granted that they mean your goodwill and they have your best interests at heart. They may not. They may have their own selfish reasons for directing you and directing you badly so that you, instead of living and thriving and surviving, you're not going to live at all. As we're seeing in so many states where the hospitals are overflowing with COVID patients, when we have a vaccine that can help everyone not only that, that unless we get COVID under control, the mutants and the mutations from this virus will continue until sooner or later, the virus will thrive and will penetrate all our defenses. And then what do we do? Can't give up? We have to fight this virus. And the only way to fight it is with the vaccine. Our rabbi told us an interesting story about the Third Reich and what really did happen to so many Jews and others who were slaughtered in the labor camps. They were told by leaders, pack for a weekend, you're going on vacation. And they did. They packed with their toothpaste and toothbrushes, took their favorite tea with them, 
and packed as if they were going on a vacation. They didn't want to believe that somebody was leading them to their death. And even when they were packed in the cattle cars, many did not believe that at the end of the line was death. They didn't want to. It was only when they were naked in the gas chambers that they realized that death was upon them. And those civilized leaders who blatantly told them lies about what was to occur, they didn't have remorse. They didn't feel anything. Kind of like Assad in Syria, when he gassed so many of his own people. Yes, he's very erudite and very civilized. He's a physician, but all the same, he's a murderer. And he didn't care. And he could eliminate people with all the coldness of wielding a scalpel. No heart there either. So when you listen to leaders, listen and question, do they have my best interests at heart? Recently, I have been given a diagnosis of cancer of the cervix. I believe it's containable. I guess my physicians think it is too. Uh, will I seek another opinion? You bet. And if anyone has great ideas for me uh, in New York City, hey, I'm happy to listen to anyone and hear your support. And I support you. As long as I'm able, I will be continuing to discuss issues that affect us. And I got to tell you, I'm not like sheep. And even though I have been given this diagnosis, you got to believe I'm going to seek second and maybe a third opinion. And I'm also going to understand all my options because I want to survive and thrive. My friends are in their 80s and 90s, and I want to reach that ripe old age too. So whatever my journey is, you've got to know that just like I am a shepherd to my followers, and I only give you what I believe is truth. Now, as the shoe is on the other foot, I am not going to go with just anybody and any diagnosis. No siree. I'm going to have the most informed decision I can possibly have. Is this scary for me? You bet. As old as I am, trust me, I don't want to go gently into that good night. And I don't want to meet God at this point in time either. I figure if Mrs. B from the Berkshire Furniture Mart could make a deal with Warren Buffett at 78, I still have a lot of deals left in me too. So whoever you are out there, I certainly will welcome all your prayers and support, any advice you might have, uh, and... Uh, I am looking forward to being with you next week, the week after that, and the week after that. I may have a problem 
that's really medical. But if you're only looking at COVID, do yourself in the country a favor. Get the vaccine. And for young women who are pregnant, absolutely get the vaccine. And let's take COVID off the table so that we're not discussing it for another year and we're not hiding out from each other either. Let's embrace life. I have, and I hope you will too. Thank you for listening, and God bless you. See you after Yom Kippur. Bye now.